Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about a vintage 1920s cosmetic brand that you can still buy today. And this brand is called Tangi and it is from the 1920s and you can still buy it today at the Vermont Country Store. New to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is where I talk about all things vintage beauty and fashion and I just love all things vintage. So if you love vintage as much as I do, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I started a new Instagram account and I love getting messages from you and I love to share behind the scenes stories of my video process as well as different IGT videos and I just would love it if you guys could come over there as well and send me a message. Let's jump right in and talk about Tangi Cosmetics. So I started out my research by looking on eBay for some vintage Tangi Cosmetics. So I found a whole bunch of Tangi Cosmetics directly from, I believe some of them might even be from the 1920s and 1940s. So I have a few different products. And then I was really fascinated by this brand because honestly, it, you don't hear much about them. You can't buy them out at the drugstore. They're only available at Vermont Country Store. So I was really curious to learn more about Tangi Cosmetics. I'm going to share with you some of the little facts about the brand. So Tangi Cosmetics is from the 1920s and it was founded by a man named George William Luft. And he wanted to capitalize on the like growing cosmetic industry. He kind of saw the um, huge market that was developing around cosmetics, especially with like lipsticks and stuff like that. And the name Tangi came from the color of the original orange lipstick, so it looks like it's a tangerine color. And this lipstick became famous because even though it looks orange, it adapts to your lip color and changes depending on your body chemistry. And it kind of goes into this unique, really rosy pink shade. So I'm wearing it now and I'm going to put a bit more on. It's really nice. I like it because it's very moisturizing and it's like a really nice subtle pink. It's very glossy. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it does look very natural and I quite like it on. And um, the whole marketing tactic was that they wanted to market towards people, everyday people that didn't want the caked on makeup look and they want, didn't want that heavy lipstick. So they wanted like a nice natural color, not this like heavy red. Um, Tangi did, however, develop other colors um, to like broaden their pro product line. So they did have red lipsticks, but the main one and the original product was the orange tangerine lipstick that changes to your skin color. So they just wanted a natural makeup look. Um, and it was also marketed to people during World War II so they could wear it with their uniform and still look put together, but not overly done. And in the 1940s, Tangi was like marketed in like Vintage Vogue magazines and just became a very popular, um, natural, well-known lipstick. I'll share with you all of the different products. I'm going to start with the vintage ones. So I have this book called Timeless and it kind of explains how, how to recreate classic beauty looks. And I was interested because I like looking at the different decades and I noticed there is a Tangi makeup set under the 1940s decade on eBay and it looks very similar in terms of packaging as the one in this book except the outer box is a little different so I'm not sure if this one came before because Tangi was around since the 1920s so it's hard to say but the packaging is very similar. Complete set it has the lipstick and this is a red color lipstick it hasn't even been used at all but as you notice, it has the push up lipstick, which was pop like earlier on in the 1920s, early 1930s, before they had the swivel up. So that kind of indicates an age to me that it could even be 1930s. And it's all made out of plastic, which is also interesting to me. This is a dead stock because it's never been used. And then here's the theatrical red blush. I actually. I'm not sure if I want to open this because it's all perfectly in the package. Um, it has all the descriptions on the back. It's also the face powder which is brand new and has not been opened. And this is like a natural color and again there's no date. So I thought that was interesting to see. 
how it's all intact in the packaging. I was really excited to find that. Two other Tangy face powders that I bought. These have been used, and this shade is called the Rachel shade. I opened one of them and it spilled everywhere, so I can't do that again. And then I have two other Tangy lipsticks. The packaging is different on these, and I wasn't able to pinpoint these um, in any textbooks. It is made with plastic, it doesn't have the metal, like other brands. And this one opens, but as you notice, it has the twist. So I'm thinking it could be newer than the other ones. It's all gross and destroyed. And this is the red, red color. So I'm thinking perhaps these are newer, just because they have the twist, and the other ones are the push-up lipstick. I quite like the packaging, it's really unique. And it's also interesting to see that it was made with plastic and not metal like other vintage lipstick brands. I also have this face powder. I'm thinking this could be, again, it's hard to say because it's a different packaging than the other face powder, which was from the 1940s. I'm assuming this probably isn't um, any older than that, but it is hard to say. Um, it doesn't say a year or anything. It just says made in USA. You think this powder is older than this one. I'd be curious to your opinion. I'm going to move into the new Tangi. And this is the stuff I got at the Vermont Country Store. So I was really interested in this perfume. And by the way, I love the packaging. It definitely has that vintage look with the gold. Definitely looks like a 1930s, 1920s packaging. There's some like Art Nouveau to it. It's the curly lines and the flowers. I think it's really beautiful. And I like this fragrance because it's like a floral citrus jasmine. I think the bottle's beautiful too. It definitely has like a 1930s glam to it. I love the like crystal top. And I think it smells really nice. It's very subtle. It blends nicely. It's fresh. And it has like a tangerine jasmine and a bit of warmth. And it's not like musky and gross. I really like it. It's a really beautiful fragrance. Moving on, I wanted to try the cream to powder foundation. Because apparently this foundation is supposed to match your skin tone and blend really nice. It's not too big, it's not very deep, and it comes with like a little pad so you can put that on your face as well behind the mirror. And I think it's a really nice color. I got like a, the lightest color, it's like a light beige color. And I quite like it, it's very mattifying, but it has really good coverage and a little goes a long way. So that is the Tangy Cream to Powder Foundation. Then I wanted to also try the blush because I was curious about it because it is supposed to adjust to your skin tone too. And I quite like it. It's a really beautiful, like rosy, um, kind of peach blush. And a little goes a long way. You don't need very much at all. And I noticed that it's actually a lot more pinky than the original blush because I have a sample here of one probably even maybe from the 1920s or 30s and it's like a very deep red blush. It's funny how tiny blushes were back then. And last but not least is the lipstick that comes in the orange color and adjusts to your skin tone and creates like a light rosy pink. It's so weird because it just looks like an orange lipstick and it's very like glossy kind of looks like a nice lip gloss almost and I notice even takes about 10 minutes for the color to truly adjust and I'm wearing it now and you can see it's like a very nice pink color so I really like the lipstick. I test it on my arm and swatch and put a little of the product on my face so you can see that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried Tangi Cosmetics. I'd be curious to know your thoughts. Also, if there's any other brands you want me to look into and kind of talk about, let me know in the comments below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.